Hi there! Welcome to Pilot University and what is uh, just a quick video about the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX demo. So with that, let's get started with it. This is, I'll make it very clear. I talked about this in our uh, review of the Direct that this game was revealed in. Uh, you can find a link to it up there in the cards. But this is not, nor will it ever be, a Let's Play channel. However, this is my favorite video game of all time. Oh god, that image just brings back so much, so much love. Um, this is my favorite video game of all time. So, when this game comes out in March, I will be doing a Let's Play of it. It will potentially be the only Let's Play to ever go up on this channel. Who knows? Um, but we're going to be doing just a little snippet of this. I'm not going to be playing through the whole demo. I don't even know how long it lasts. I've seen some people stream it for like a couple hours, which seems like a lot for just a demo. Uh, but I guess we're going to see. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I mostly am just interested in the quiz. That's the biggest thing. Uh, when the game comes out uh, in March... Oh, man. When the game comes out in March, I will be... Um, Deleting this, I want to retake the quiz and see. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, it's so classic. Oh my god, I love it. So, yeah, I will be deleting this one because the demo does uh, pick up where you left off in the demo. Um, but I'm not going to want to do that. I want to retake the quiz, see if my answers have changed at all, see if I get a new Pokemon. Um, the first time I played this game, I believe I got a Squirtle. Uh, so I wonder if, you know, that was way back, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> so, well, 14, I guess. But uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before, I, sorry I'm looking back and forth. This is like the screen that's actually on over here. But I, I'm probably just going to read it through my... OBS, sorry, I'm awkward. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. Hashtag bars. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. Oh, man. Nostalgia. Okay. Do you like to enjoy yourself noisily with others? Y yes and no. I'm going to say yes. So, like... To a point. Like, if it were bothering other people, obviously no. But, like, what I do in the summer is I do a lot of volunteering with 15, 16 year olds and uh, to, like, help them, you know, get out of their shell and, like, actually be who they really are. Uh, part of that involves me usually dressing up in ridiculous costumes. Uh, the road forks to the right and left. You're told there's treasure on the right side. What do you do? I definitely go right. Like, I'm honestly kind of gullible like that. A delinquent is hassling someone on a busy city street. What will you do? Help even if scared. I'm... Ooh, I'd probably call the police too. Like, I don't know. I'm, I was an RA in college, so, like, I was in charge of, like, enforcing rules in my college dorm. So, like, I would definitely help, but, like, you never know what you're walking into with situations like that. Uh, a human hand extends out of a toilet. What do you do? Scream and run. 100%. <laughs> do you like to imagine things for your amusement all the time? That's how I spend most of my free time. On vacation outings, you want to... Hmm. I definitely have done things like that alone, but being with other people always makes it better. Are you often late for school or meetings? No with an asterisk. Occasionally, I tend to give myself literally zero, like, leeway time between when I leave and when I'm supposed to be there. So, like, if there's even the slightest bit of traffic, I usually am late. Uh, can you sincerely thank someone when you feel grateful? Absolutely. Do you want to play as a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. Alright, what do we got? You appear to be... The docile type. Okay, let me think if I can remember what that one is off the top of my head. 
I know Hardy Boy is Charmander. I know Timid Boy is Cyndaquil. This is how much I played this game. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten Docile. I'm going to say Mudkip. You're very kind-hearted, very helpful. You can make friends with anyone. I try. You're a wonderful person. Oh, thank you. Is that going overboard? I don't think so. I mean, they said it, not me. Uh, you yourself you yourself should be the best judge of that. A docile per person like you should be... I want to say it's Mudkip. I'm like 90% sure. I'm pushing A. Nothing's happening, though. Oh, my controller died. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. A, per a docile person like you should be. Clickbait. Charmander. Interesting. I was... Hmm. Maybe they changed the answers to the quiz then. Or, like, what the formula is. I'll have to look. I'll have to look, because I... Well, I'm sure there's a guide online for how to answer the questions, but, oh my god, I love this aesthetic. I love this aesthetic so much. You appear to be a Charmander. Is that correct? So... I'm going to pick Charmander, but you can say no, and then it lets you pick which one you want to be. So, uh, in the past, I think I've been almost everything, and obviously some Pokemon are better than others. Um, Skitty's very bad. <laughs> Skitty's very, very bad. Don't, unlike, unless you are, love Skitty, do not pick Skitty. Oh, this is neat, too. They usually did not used to let you pick. So you can't pick a, a partner that's the same type as you. So because I'm Charmander, I can't be Cyndaquil or uh, Torchic. But uh, they used to not let you pick any of the non-starters or Pikachu. So, like, you couldn't pick Meowth, you couldn't pick Eevee, uh, you couldn't pick Skitty, Cubone, Psyduck, or Machop. Uh, but I think I might go with... I think just because I'm going with Pikachu. Sure. It'll cover out my water weakness, I guess. Should your partner be a boy or a girl? That's something you never really got to choose either. Um, who's, we'll say Pikachu's a girl. Sure. Oh, oh, and it becomes a female Pikachu with a heart tail. I like that. What's your partner's nickname? Um, I usually don't... I, so, sometimes I nickname my partner, but we'll... For now, we'll just go with Pikachu. Uh, go to end. Is Pikachu alright for a nickname? Yes. Are these two all right? Yes. Like I said, let, uh, <clears throat> like I said, I'm gonna be going through and uh, redoing this anyway, so we'll see what we get next time. In about two months. Where am I? Am I dreaming this? I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Excuse me. Please, wake up. Come on, wake up. Oh my god, I love this. You're finally awake. Great. Uh, literally me when I wake up every day. Where is this? You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Pikachu. Happy to meet you. And you are? I've never seen you around here before. Huh? You say you're a human, but you look like... a normal Charmander in every way. I love these animations! These animations are so good! This is what Sun and Moon should have been. It's true! I have turned into a Charmander. But... why? I don't remember anything. Um, you're kind of weird. Your name? What's your name? My name? Oh, that's right. My name is... I'm Gavin. Nope. No. So I hate using the original, like, my actual Joy-Cons. Because they're a little laggy. Oh, Gavin's your name. Well, 
<laughs> Isn't that a funny name? Wow, thanks. Somebody, please help me. Huh? I hear shouts from over there. What's wrong? It's horrible. My Caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fissure opened in the ground and my Caterpie fell in. It's a bug. It can climb out. Whatever. That's something that I've never understood. I'm like, they have suction cups on their feet. It can climb out, but whatever. He's too... Oh, he's... Shows how much I pay attention. Uh, he's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked by other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure and are out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. And that's exactly what the Butterfree did in the original game. This sounds bad. We have to go help. Let's do this. Tiny Woods, B Floor 1. Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is, it's a mystery dungeon. Why do we have 43 HP at level 5? A mystery dungeon is truly a mysterious place. The layout and items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And remember that Butterfree said the Pokemon of the dungeon attack, right? If necessary, we have to fight. Let's do our best, Gavin. To walk, try using left stick. You can also move with... Okay, I feel like I'm definitely going to want to use the arrow keys because my left Joy-Con has the drift and it bothers me a lot. Um, are those enemies? Is that what the red things are? They are enemies. Ooh, I don't like that. Normally, you're, like in the original games, you're not supposed to be able to see the enemies until they're literally like right in your face. Okay, let's... What do I have for moves? Dragon Rage, Flame Burst, Bite, and Scratch. Uh, Charmander does not learn Bite. Um, oh my god! Pikachu has Fake Out, Electro Ball, Grass Knot, and Iron Tail. What? That's kind of wild. Um, so I think I can just do... So it's ZL and then the button. So let's... Um, what, do, what do my moves do? I want to know what, uh, what, they're, like, what the range on them is. Because the moves function, if you've never played a Mystery Dungeon game, the moves function very much differently than they do in regular games. Okay, so uh, range varies. What does that mean? Uh, the greater your level, the further this move can reach. That's broken. I, that's not how Dragon Age used to work, but I love that. Flame Burst is four tiles away. Oh my god. Uh, bites in front. And scratches in front. Alright, so what about you? So fake out is two out tiles away and the rest are front. That makes sense. So Okay, nope, that's bite. Um Dragon Rage. Okay, so right now it's only one move in front. One one uh thing in front. Use a move with A. So A is just the normal basic attack. Oh I love the little I love that. The little uh, bubble that pops up. When you use a move. Oh, that's excellent. So, why auto turns you to an opponent? Interesting. And I love how Pidgey's just still in the air when it's asleep. It looked like it was in the air anyway. So I love, a huge quality of life improvement is that it shows you the, uh, your belly on the, like on the screen at all times. That's a huge quality of life improvement. So like as you move around, um, your belly goes down, at least for, uh, the, your main character, it goes down. Uh, but they never used to, it used to be like in the menu. So you would have to always be kind of like, what, how's my belly doing? Pikachu, what are you doing? Step in front of me. How do I switch places with you? Ooh. What is that? What did I just do? Press L for auto mode. What is that? So auto mode looks like... 
there's still a way to like auto complete a dungeon if you've like if you're already kind of high level for it. Cause I'm not I'm doing nothing right now. Oh, okay, if you encounter an, an enemy Pokemon in auto mode, auto mode will end. That makes sense. Interesting. Okay, Pikachu, we need to have a talk. Can I do that yet? Because I know you can change what your teammates do. Um, I probably can't do that yet. It's like, I don't want Pikachu to go after enemies like that. I want you to just follow me, friend. Like, let's be pals. Uh, that's kind of broken how, like, much these moves that you start off with. Because, uh, at least in the original one, it's just a normal scratch and tail whip. Or scratch and leer, I guess, for Charmander. But, um... Auto mode is really interesting, because it'll take you just right to the stairs, I guess. Huh. Oh, eh. Mommy, where are you? We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Gavin co successfully completed a rescue at the Tiny Woods. Sure did. My baby's safe. I'm sorry, I don't even know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. Butterfree's wings are not moving at all. Interesting. Uh, well, okay, barely moving is what I meant by that. Anyway, uh, it's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Pikachu. And this is Gavin. Cool. Cool. They actually make his eyes shine like that. I love that. That's awesome. He's uh, staring at me adoringly. Those sparkly eyes. It's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Having Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Pikachu and Gavin. I know th this isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Yeah, tiny, tiny Reviver Seed. Is that something from Super Mystery Dungeon? I don't remember. A Petra Berry. And five hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I sure was impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Listen, Gavin. Why don't... If you don't have a place to stay, you should come with me. Alright. Cool. God, I am so happy. I can't wait to see what my house looks like. Well, this is the place. Oh my god, it looks so good. Wow. I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I feel like this place... Er, but I like this place. I feel weirdly happy. It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Oh, no, I have sparkly eyes. <laughs> Uh, maybe I feel that way because I'm a Charmander. Oh, Gavin. You're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. This would make a good place for you to live, Gavin. I was sure you'd like it. So Pikachu's already a homeowner. That's very impressive in this economy. Uh, this is your mailbox. They deliver mail from other Pokemon here. Many Pokemon are suffering from these natural disasters. Just like the fissure that Caterpie fell into. There have been all sorts of natural disasters lately. I want to do good. I want to help Pokemon like that. I want to help make the world a safer place for Pokemon. So, um... Well, I saw how good you were when you re when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to form a rescue team with me? I think we could be the world's number one rescue team, Gavin. What do you think? Of course I'm going to form a rescue team. Who do you think I am? Okay, done deal. From now on, Gavin, we're partners in our rescue team. I'm so glad. The team's name is... I haven't decided on one. Listen, Gavin, what would be a good team name for us? Team Allies, no. So, I always name my team the same thing. 
No, not Q. Q is the most worthless letter. Sorry if your name has a Q in it. Um, okay. Where is the E with an accent? I hope there's still enough space for this. What is this? Interesting. Um, so, Pokey Rescue. Nope. Q, get out of here. Pokey Rescue. Okay, there is still enough space. Cool. Is Pokey Rescue? Okay, yes. Pokey Rescue. I like it. It's a good name. It's perfect. Oh, and one more thing. I wanted to wear this on the day I got started as a rescue team. I have two of them, so let's put them on. I stinking love this. Because in all of the art for rescue team, anything, it shows the main characters wearing scarves. And to their credit, in uh, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, you did get an item that was a scarf or a bow, but it didn't actually show up on your character. And now, oh my god. It looks great. You wear it well, Gavin. Don't you feel focused? Like we're on the same team together. T rescue team, Pokey Rescue. Let's do good. Starting tomorrow. Yay. Okay, so I think I'll probably play for a little bit more. Maybe do the first mission, and then uh, maybe I'll play the rest of my own time. But I want to I wanna see all of it as it comes out, you know, in, in March. Um... And I have no idea how deep the demo goes. Uh, I'm positive they'll be... Um, like, I have an idea just based on me knowing the game. I don't think they'd let you get to the point where you can recruit other team members. That makes so much more sense. That my bed is actually, like, not hay because I'm a Charmander. In the old games, like, uh, the bed was hay. So I'm like, wouldn't I just set this in my entire house on fire <laughs> by sleeping on it? Whatever. Uh, I st I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still a Charmander. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? God, and this model is very expressive, too. Between, like, the head movements, uh, and then just the addition of... Uh, I've seen a couple things happen with the eyes, where, like, it looks angry, or, like, uh, it looks sort of apprehensive, like the little picture down in the, the bottom right there. But I guess sometimes they don't always apply those eye things to the to the model itself. Hmm, I don't understand this at all. Oh, that's right. That Pokemon. I think it was Pikachu? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Pikachu's doing. I should go out. Oh, Pikachu's all curled up. I love it. <laughs> Huh? Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. I was so excited about today that I've been waiting here since dawn. I must have fallen asleep. Anyway, today marks the start of our rescue team. Let's always do our best. But, uh... We don't have any job offers yet. <laughs> oh yeah! Maybe there's something in the mailbox. Are you blind? Pikachu checked the mailbox. The, the mailbox contained a Rescue Team Starter Set. I knew it'd be there. It's the Rescue Team Starter Set. They always give you one if you start a Rescue Team. Pikachu opened the Rescue Team Starter Set. There was a Rescue Team badge inside. A toolbox inside, too. There was also an issue of Pokemon News. Yes. There are some good things here. First off, the Rescue Team badge. It shows that we're a real Rescue Team. I added that reel for some reason, I don't know. Uh, this is a toolbox. Use it to carry items we find in dungeons. Let's put the stuff Butterfree gave us in here for now. Items are very useful, so let's use them on our adventure. And finally, a copy of the Pokemon News. It's, a useful, uh, uh, it's useful for rescue teams. I'll put the Pokemon News in the mailbox. You should read it later on. Anything else? Any other mail? Maybe not. Pikachu, Pikachu checked the mailbox, but the mailbox was empty. Okay. So there isn't any mail for us after all. If there's any rescue jobs, we would get we would be getting mail, but nobody knows about us since we're such a new team, I guess. 
Here come that boy. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Hi, Pelipper. <laughs> I love Pelipper. God, I hate the my Joy-Con so much. Maybe it's a rescue job offer. What does it say? I heard about you from Caterpie. Please, we need your help. Magnemite is in trouble. A strand electromagnetic wave flowed through a dungeon, and it stuck Magnemite and Magnemite together. That isn't enough to form a magneton. It isn't complete the way it is now. Please, we need help. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Magnemite trend. What do you think? Do you think we should go? Yes, let's go. That's the spirit. Let's do our best. Yay. Cool. Okay. Ooh. I love the map. The map looks excellent. Oh, there you are. Buzz, buzz, buzz. My friends are in this cavern. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> My friend should be on B floor six. Please help them. Bzz, 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 bzz. So this is probably gonna be a relatively long video. It'll probably take me maybe 10 minutes to get through this, depending on if they've changed it at all, which I kind of doubt they have, but we'll see. Hold B and press, press L to dash. Okay. Wow, that's real fast. Um, I wonder if that works in auto mode. I uh, can press B to open your toolbox. Okay, what do you do? We'll revive a fainted Pokemon. Okay, so that's like the classic reviver seed. I don't know if there's big reviver seeds. I don't know what that does. What's up? Oh, wrong button. Okay, um... Let's try... What does Dragon Rage do? How much damage does that do? 30? Okay. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to use like an actual controller for this because using um, the Joy-Con to move around I think is much better, but the or like the the stick to move around is a lot better, but like the stick on my Joy-Con is just not very good. Like that, like I didn't do that. If you face multiple enemies at the same time, retreat to a corridor to fight them one at a time. I'm okay, thank you. Get hacked. For every one move you make in a dungeon, your opponents will also make one move. Turns go, always go in order. On the other end, if you don't move, neither will your opponents. Take your time and choose your actions wisely. That's a lot of damage. Okay. So there's lots of items in here, it looks like. Use R and hold L to walk diagonally. So those are all scripted items to be there so you can walk diagonally. Interesting. Uh, hold down ZL and choose what move you want to use. Okay, yeah. So th this, the the move structure is very similar to how it was in the 3DS Mystery Dungeon games. Um, uh, if you're in a dungeon and you fail in your adventure, you lose all your items and money you're carrying. Bummer. I wonder if you can change that. So I feel like the top L button is just better for me. When you step on a wonder tile in a dungeon, your lowered stats will return to normal. But if your stats have been boosted, they'll also return to normal, so watch out. I don't think Charmander gets any boosting moves anyway, so. Other than Dragon Dance, but that's an egg move and I kinda doubt I'll get that, so. Okay, how do I go through you again? B. Okay. Hey, you. Alright. And the music also is just excellent. Oh! You can change the leader, the Pokemon you control, by pressing plus. You'll be able to control Pokemon other than just the hero. You can check how to play by pressing the minus button. Uh, you can find a lot of good tips for adventuring there. 
interesting. This is something that you could not do until post-game. Is change who the leader was. Which is really interesting. And like, not like immediately in the... Mm, was it immediately in the post-game? I think you had to go through one dungeon first before... You, in the post-game before you were able to change who you control. So that's really interesting to me. Good work, Pikachu. Am I too far away? Got him. Um, yeah, so I'm really... They're really combining a lot of different things here. Because I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've played uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Which was the most recent uh, Mystery Dungeon game before this. Alright, leveled up. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've played that game. Uh... So I don't remember whether you could do that from right from the get-go or not. But I kinda don't I kinda doubt it. Like it's definitely useful because a lot of times you will get separated from your partner. So it'll be nice to be able to control them and if they get in like a bad spot so they make good decisions instead of bad AI decisions. I do have to say, I'm not a fan so far of the being able to see items and enemies across the entire map. Oh, there they are. Let's get them out safely. Gavin successfully completed the job at Thunderwave Cave. Our bodies are separated. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Rejoice. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Be thankful, you two. You are our heroes. Thank you. Bzz, bzz, bzz. You got a big apple. An orange berry. $650. Ooh, we're rolling. I know, I love how the magnum like, like waddle instead of just like floating. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm so glad our rescue mission went so well today. I need to confess. Since it was our first job as a rescue team, I was really, really nervous. I can't believe how tired I am. I'm going to go home and get some sleep. Let's do good again tomorrow. See you. Oh, it's happening. Where... Where am I? Maybe... Is this a dream? Oh. There's someone here. Who is it? Someone I know? I can't remember. I think I dreamt something, but I can't quite remember what the dream was about. Oh well. Today's another day of rescues. I wonder if I have any mail. Better go check the mailbox. Gavin yeah, checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. What's the other mail then? Good morning, Gavin. Aren't you up early? Oh, so you checked the mailbox. Was there anything, uh, so was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? No. Huh? There's nothing. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. After all, we've only just begun. Oh well, we should go to Pokemon Square. We should check out the Pelipper Post Office. I think they have jobs posted. Pokemon Square's over there. Let's go. And I think that's probably where I'm going to end it. Um, so this is just going to be kind of a one-off thing until we, I don't want to play too much into it until we get the uh, the actual game in March, uh, a slightly less than two months from now. So, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, this video, uh, let me know if you have downloaded the demo. What Pokemon did you uh, either pick as your starter, starter, uh, as your character? What did you get as a result from the quiz that you, that you took at the beginning? Who'd you choose for your partner? Uh, I love, you know, just learning what people's results for this quiz is. I think it's a lot of fun, and I think it actually does tell you kind of a lot about who you are as a person, personally. Um, but that's just me. So let me know that down below. Uh, let me know whether you will end up getting this game. Let me know, uh, if, is, is this the first time you've played Mystery Dungeon? If so, what are your thoughts so far? Um, I'll be talking about my thoughts, I'm sure, a lot. <laughs> uh, probably on Twitter. Probably also on uh, when we actually do the series in March. 
So make sure to follow me on Twitter at palette underscore you to keep up on all things Pokemon science, as well as uh, we do have a Patreon. So if you feel like this content is worthy of supporting us, we do have a Patreon, the link to which will be down in the description. And as always, there's a time and place for everything.